Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Let's get the business. Kentucky Hoops. Kentucky basketball is here. It's early. It's early, early, early. But <laughs> I'm excited. I love college basketball. I love Kentucky basketball, obviously. Uh, like I said, it's, it's way early. You know, a little exhibition game we just came off of, but it was a victory. We, <laughs> you know what I mean? We handled business and did what we had to do. Um, Louisville, Louisville Cardinals and basketball, not so much, bro. But we're going to get a little bit into that later. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we're going to get more into that. But, you know, it, not too much. Not too much of that. But Kentucky basketball, man. Um, basically a season opener. Not really, but an exhibition um, against Georgetown College. And I'm going to give it up. I'm not going to hold you. I'll give it up to Georgetown College because they showed, you know, their fight and their grit uh, towards us. You know, everybody that comes in the Rupp Arena, you know, or it wasn't even in Rupp Arena. It was... They play somewhere else. But anybody that plays against Kentucky, you already know they're going to give it they all. They're going to play their heart out. It's like being in the Super Bowl on, court, on the court. And uh, they showed, they had a couple athletes on Georgetown. I'm not going to hold you. Um, they, they showed their ability to get to the rim, showed their athleticism. But um, other than that, I'll go down the line with us. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll, we'll start with DJ Wagner uh, up top at the point. I pretty much seen what what was expected from him, you know, him getting to the rack, you know, uh, at will basically, um, getting to the line, uh, his will and determination, and he's athletic, he's vocal, um, you know, even though he's young, you know, he, he he's a good communicator on the court. Uh, word of John Cal, that's what he said. So, and and the shows on the court too, you you can you can see where he's communicating with the other teammates. You know, and, uh, you know, Reed Shepard, he, he played his heart out. He still played the team game. He had a lot of assists. He had a real nice alley-oop to somebody. It may have been Jordan Burke or or, or Justin Edwards, um, one of those guys. But um, um, I like what I've seen out of Reed Shepard. You know, um, he sees the court very well, and uh, he didn't hit all of his shots. You know, it wasn't the best uh, – shooting performance um, this early little exhibition game but he still played it you know he did his thing uh, and Justin Edwards I feel like in the first half he came out you know came out a little bit I won't say sluggish but kind of just I guess first first game jitters or something you know maybe a little bit of nervousness but uh, the second half Started to, <laughs> he started to light it up, man. He started to play harder, get to the rack harder. Um, you know, I feel like as an effort, uh, defensively, there could be some things that uh, need to be, you know, readjusted. But in due time, it'll come. Um, hopefully, <laughs> it'll become SEC play. It'll be different. Um, I like what i seen out of Justin Edwards. You know, he started attacking the rim. That's that's what Cal wants him to do. He wants him to be that attacker, that slasher for us. And I, I feel why he wants him to. You know, he's got the ability. <clears throat> he's athletic. He's like 6'8", you know, 6'9". Can, can score in multiple ways, you know, and can be tenacious on defense as well with his length, and, you know, and, and the way he can jump and stuff. And so, I like what I've seen out of Justin. Uh, I like what I've seen out of Rob Dillingham. Um... He showed out his quickness. Um, he showed his, his – he plays with a lot of heart and his determined nation. You know, he's determined to win. He, he's a, he's definitely a slasher, a scorer. Um, he, ah, man, the shot selection, ah, who, you know, it's early. It's early. You know I mean? He maybe rushed a few, uh, th some things of that nature, but he still got his, you know. Our backcourt is solid. I feel like I feel really good about it. Like I said, I know it's early, but we showing the early signs of playing as a unit and having the ability to knock down shots, um, play defense. Our team defense could get better. You know, it's 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 cool to see them playing right now. You know, because like we don't have our seven footers. You know, all three of the seven footers is out right now. <clears throat> you know, 
Don't know when they'll be back. I think Big Z, I think he may be the first one to be uh, in there. Um, hopefully Aaron Bradshaw will get in there soon. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm excited to see him on the court. As long as uh, with Uganda too. So yeah, three seven footers we're gonna have. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, Trey Mitchell's holding it down there. Um, Antonio Reeves, uh, we seen what he's capable of. He's getting. I feel like he's getting better. He's uh, he's stronger with the basketball. Um, I do the arrow stronger too. Like and, and it seems like he's playing more of like a four row now. Cause like I said, we're a little short size right now. Uh, Trey Mitchell, he showed the way he could stretch the the court. And knock down them trade balls, you know what I mean? He's really poised when it comes to that. He's real calm and collective. And he's one of the veterans basically on our squad. So uh, to see him be out there and, and be a leader, and be a leading example, uh, leading by example, um, basically. Uh, and him having to play down low, you know, we'll, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, he's 6'9". Uh, he can do a lot of different things. And he's a smart basketball player. And basically our whole team plays – Almost position the basketball. Of course, you got like the three or four core guards that we got. You know what I mean? Then, but we got some forwards. You know, we got you know Justin Edwards. He's basically uh, positionless. I do the arrow is, and you know Trey Mitchell. You know he can play the three to four to five as well. Uh, and basically everybody on the court can shoot, so that makes me feel good. You know what I mean? When they can knock down them shots, that makes me feel good. So uh, having the confidence whenever just. Basically, anybody got the ball. And even when Aaron Bradshaw gets in there, you know, I can't wait till he get in there because he's a do-it-all big guy. You know what I mean? He can stretch it out as well. You got you to gotta respect him out there. You got to respect him. Uh, so, yo, it's early. Uh, shout out to Georgetown College and everything. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting going into SEC play and uh, early non-conference play. Uh, I know we played Gonzaga this year. And... Of course, a few other big dogs. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it works out. And we'll see when they come back. And Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on there over there with Louisville. You know, they took a bone-crushing loss to Kentucky Wesleyan. Division II college. Like, whoa. Like, word. Like, yo. Kentucky Wesleyan, my nigga? <laughs> like, Yo. But, you know, that's a whole nother topic. Shout out to Kenny Payne and all them. Hopefully he pulls it together, man. 